Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. My name is John. I am the Map Traveler, and today we are checking out Small Town Belt, Montana. Yes, like the belt that goes around in your car, or yes, like the belt that you're wearing around your waist right now. This is Belt, Montana. If you guys like what we do here on the channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help us move up there in the uh, Google ranks and in the YouTube ranks when people go to search for us. And uh, it just kind of helps spread the word as well. So I really appreciate it. If you don't like the channel, don't subscribe, but then do me a favor, leave a comment of uh, what we can do better here. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So Belt Montana is what we are checking out today this is a uh, pretty dang far north in case you didn't know there is canada right here it is southeast of great falls and then uh no uh butte is to the south and then uh billings i think billings is the biggest city in montana montana literally translates to mountain so yes, we are visiting Belt Mountain. I wonder if there's a mountain here. There's a Harvest Moon Brewing. Not to be confused with Harvest Moon the game, I'm sure. There's a District School. Uh, higher Capacity. Higher Capacity. Medical Supply Store. This is a really interesting and uh, also creepy picture from uh, Higher Capacity. They got a park. And a rodeo. Okay. Uh, there's a few roads into and out of town. So I'm going to start here on the south side. And we'll uh, make our way up. We'll go past this here uh, rodeo as well. Uh, this is from August 2008. I'm... Oh my. It's quite the mountain there. I'm really not surprised that there's not a more recent. But may, we might run into some. Uh, just kind of depending on when the Google car... <laughs> comes back through this is quite blurry sure wow they really don't want you to see this, this see this here uh rodeo do they yeah they really don't want you to see this rodeo this is curious so usually when you when you're running uh, which i'm sure you've noticed if you watch any of any of our other videos usually when you you run into like a blur like this you can go a couple spaces and it'll uh, you know go away and you can see what's there but not this one this is just all a blur. Now it makes me curious to see what it see what is here. Uh, hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. So let's. Oh yeah, I guess that was. Yeah, I guess this is the rodeo. Here on our our little map, we're looking right at it. That's interesting. I wonder why the rodeo would be completely blurred out like even from this distance interesting uh, okay these roads are not very wide but we are approaching belt montana from the south we're probably not gonna be able to read too many of these signs unless we get some better resolution this looks like a maybe a trailer park homes yeah, it looks like a trailer park. Looks like there was a sign back there. I mean, so folk obviously live up here. Now we're getting into town. Uh, there's a public library. Can we go down this road? We can go down this road. I always like it when we drive, when the Google car drives by people and you get like that suspicious, uh, that suspicious look like what the heck is that thing coming coming down my road yep there it is right there thank you uh, man that was standing at 307 3rd Avenue South in Belt Montana in August 2008 to give us this uh, fantastic suspicious image of why are you doing this why yep there it is <laughs> see what I mean Still watching it. The poor Google car driver must just get like stared at all day long. Uh, I just, it'd be an interesting job. You'd get you get looked at everywhere you go. So I guess you also get acknowledged. Uh, it says there's a library down here. Let's see if we can get to this library. Is this the library? Man, this is practically dirt roads. 
Uh, so this library is right here. Oh, maybe that's the library. Wait, no, can't go down anyway. Uh, this looks like a park. According to Google, it's a library. I mean, I guess there's no no law that says you can't have a library on a public park, but uh, just not what I expected. Uh, we can't read this sign. This resolution is so bad. <laughs> Uh, let's go down this road. It's practically a dirt road. I mean, can't imagine how bad these roads get torn up in the winter, you know. Uh, I'm sure they get quite a bit of snow. This is a really nice, this is a really, like, interesting shape for a house. This person's lawn is very manicured. On Main Street? Are we on Main Street now? This is Main Street. Well, let's head up to Main Street and check out old downtown. I mean... I'm assuming it's going to be an old downtown. Here's a local church. Right on Main Street. Yes, look, this looks like a storm cellar up here. Nope, that's somebody's front porch. Man, it's so... Oh, basements. That's right, this is in the north. Folk got, folk got basements. Not too many basements down here in the south. Uh, just kind of don't need them, I guess. Main Street. Um... Uh, Side bar and casino? Crown Royal. County Canine? Uh Cowboy Casino, okay. <laughs> uh East Side Bar and Grill. Cowboy Casino. Bridge Street, 202 Bridge Street, Belt Montana. Uh, is this it? This 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 can't be it because that was Main Street. Like we started at the end of Main Street. Uh, it's still 2008. First out, yeah, that was all. That was all of Main Street. You cross over and you're on Main. And yeah, we we went all the way to the park. Uh okay, that's interesting. There's one business on Main Street. One. And it is a bar grill and a cowboy casino. Uh man. This really is a small town. I gotta be honest, I thought I'd have more to work with when I, when we went down uh, Main Street. Now that, I mean, just because they don't have a bunch of businesses on Main Street doesn't mean that, you know, they don't have, obviously have other businesses elsewhere. Uh, however, it seems very uncommon that you would have a Main Street that doesn't have a lot of your businesses. No, is this another Pro Hardware and Video? Okay, so this is this right here, this pro. And the resolution is so poor that we can't make it out. Maybe it just says pro hardware, because this looks like the H and this looks like the W. So if you guys haven't watched it, uh, go back after this one, of course, go back and watch our Denver, Indiana video. And in that one, we come across a pro hardware, but it says pro hardware and video. It's this same sign, except for it says and video, and this is the play button, which means that you could rent videos at at this these places. And I go into a whole breakdown uh, with all that, but this is Bridge Street in Belt, Montana. But this, these streets are set up like really interesting, I guess, and curvy. Uh, there's not a whole lot of straightness going on here. Let's see what we got here. This is a bank. So here's the local bank. Um, I can't make this out. This is like a one, two, three. F I guess this is a four way. Let's see what's down here. It looks like we got some more down here places. So this looks like it would be the main, the main street. Uh, it's Kastner Street. But it looks like here is here's where we're finding all, all the old buildings. I wonder why it popped up like that. Uh, 
diamond suppliers. Brink? Biffic? Diamond suppliers? This looks like a Miller Lite sign. But it's clearly a diamond shape. Okay, so here's your here's your business. Alright, we found our gas station. Uh, got a couple pumps. What's What's down here? Is this the fire I was gonna say it looks almost like a fire station with these big old doors. Man, we really can't see anything on this. Uh but it looks like they have like a river right here that's separating a lot of the town. Maybe that's why Main Street didn't go like up and over, and maybe that's why everything grew uh, grew towards towards the north side. Let's see if we can go up and around over here. Is this a tunnel? Can we go through this tunnel? This house looks like it's for sale or rent. Still August of. 2008. I feel like this guy has a really hard time mowing his back lawn. This is quite the slant. Uh, and then your neighbor's just like looking at you. Like, <laughs> uh, maybe that's why they use so many fences here in uh, here in Texas. It's a little cool old barn up there, underneath the overpass, and it looks like. Heading out of town? Let's check it real quick. Uh, yeah, wow. Well, let's go. Let's go check out uh, this this uh, Pizza Pro right here real quick. And um, there weren't any photo spheres, unfortunately. Uh, let's go. Oh wait, there are a couple photo spheres. Nice. I did not notice those earlier. I really like photospheres, especially in these old towns, because you can usually get some much more updated pictures. I mean, I don't blame Google, it's not like they have to map our entire country. Uh, however, uh, it is uh, nice of them to do, and I'm sure it's for uh, multiple people's benefits, like ours, for exploring. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mailboxes place doesn't look that big, but it's obviously got eight apartments in it. Uh, Pizza Pro. Looking at Pizza Pro. Oh, there's Pizza Pro. I was talking about my rug. Well, that's Pizza Pro, y'all. And, uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, back into town. Maybe. Possibly. Hang on a second. Uh, man, these roads are so curvy. Like, I don't think we've run into just a straight, like, four-way stop. But I like these trees. And the neighborhood seem nice. Seems like a really, uh... Seems like a, like a nice, nice, quiet area. Look, they even have special lines so you can park your RVs and trailers. How considerate of this uh, tiny town in Belt, Montana. Let's see what we got coming up over here. The Belt Valley Bank. This is where we were. Wow. This place, uh... This place really is small. There is really not not much here. Um... Yeah. Diamond suppliers. Crooked, uh... Crooked roads and... Uh... And a gas station. Well, there you go. There you have it. If you guys have been to Belt, Montana, or want to uh, go to Belt, Montana, and leave me a comment to tell me uh, what it's like nowadays, I would really appreciate it. Let's check out a couple of these uh, photo spheres that we saw pop up. This is in the Belt School District 29. Well, they have a... Uh, they have science labs. This is from January 2017 with the classic still from the 90s artwork. I love it. Um, I guess this is inside the school. Looks like they're doing a domino project. Renzi Horton took this picture in January of 2017. 
Uh, thank you, Renzi, for this, I'm going to guess and say, inside the school picture. And then it looks like we've got another one. Looks like still inside the school. Let's see if it's uh, also Renzi. Uh, this one is also Renzi. This is a nice school. I mean, they've got computers. I'm assuming these computers have some sort of, uh, you know, internet connection. Which means they're not... Not that far out. Uh, I'm guessing that this is like an all-in-one school because the, the area is so small. Uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder, I'm gonna guess it is like a memorial library. Uh, nope, they've got other names, so maybe they're just naming off, off naming authors or uh, famous people like Mary Higgins Clark, uh, Dorothy Johnson, A.R. Guthrie. Yep, Wi-Fi. Somebody's living out here. Somebody is doing their connection thing. And uh, again, this is from Renzi Horton here at the uh, local school in Belt, Montana. Thank you guys for watching. Again, my name is John. Like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of The Map Traveler.